Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should consider doing stock video with your drone. Reason number one is it can be really enjoyable, both getting out, doing the content, and also when you get the sales as a passive income down the line. There's no greater feeling in the world of going out with your drone, getting up at sunrise, no one's around, and just being in that moment and creating the content. Now also, I feel like in, in today's day and age, a lot of people are addicted to that dopamine hit of quick things on social media. What I love about stock is it's a delayed gratification. So you're creating something, you get to create it in landscape mode, you don't have to worry about all these, these silly videos. And down the line, when you're not expecting it, you get a notification that you've got a sale. It takes you back to that moment when you created the content. And I really enjoy that feeling. I really enjoy more than, let's say I've worked with actors and they've been in a studio. There's something about doing stock, almost like an online diary, it takes you back to where you were. The second positive thing about stock video with your drone is you're always improving as you go along. Now, to begin with, you might get some rejection from the creators. You might say, this is wrong, the lighting's wrong. And that's frustrating to start with. But over time, it's actually a positive thing because you're getting some feedback, almost like you're having a tutor. So yeah, unless sometimes the, the creators can be a little bit harsh, you have to take that with a pinch of salt. Take that on board. Don't take it too personally, just try and improve. And the fact that you're producing regular content and you have some sort of purpose really does improve you as a filmmaker. The third positive reason for doing stock is there can often be an overlap with, let's say you're shooting vlogs or creating content for a client. You can use the same drone footage for both, which is amazing. The fourth thing, I, I love this so much about stock video, is no dealing with difficult clients, no late invoices, reminding them to pay you and none of that nonsense. Everything is just paid to you on, and that you know when it's gonna happen. Within maybe a couple of days, you get a PayPal, it comes through on PayPal. So everything's very objective, very fair. Yeah, that's a, it's a really good thing. And it, I love that freedom of feeling where I'm not reliant on a, someone messing you around. It's just, it's a really positive thing. The fifth positive thing about stock footage is you can be still living your life while you're going out capturing. These drones, especially the, the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 2, they're so small. Even the Air 2S, it's not a massive drone. So you can be going out, just everything in this small little package here. This is the case I use. I really like it. You just It's got enough space for your ND filters, everything, your controller. Got this on Amazon. Still enjoying life, still going out with your friends, your family. You might go for a meal. It's not such, you're not going around with great big lights and everything. You're not having actors coming over to your flat, leaving a a load of mess, having to put lights up all the time. You can be out experiencing a different culture, just living your life, and I think that's such a positive aspect to it. I hope these reasons encourage you with stock filming. So there's, a lot, there's a lot of positives. There are some negatives as well, unfortunately, so I'm gonna create a separate video with that. Please take on both, board, both sides of the argument, and often the, the truth is somewhere in the middle. If you take on the tips as well, I've done another video on that, then at least you'll be on the right track with your journey in doing this. Thanks guys. And also please consider subscribing.